Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. This year's one that has challenged everything from how we worship to how we go about teaching school to how we go out to eat. The story of 2020 is one that's going to be told for generations, and part of that story has to do with the people who did the best they could with the hand that they were dealt. Over the past year, I hope that the content I've shared with you has brought you tools, techniques, and ideas that have helped you in your day-to-day -day lives. Much of it deals with technology for two reasons. First of all, technology is always changing. And second, technology has the potential to free time and make it easier for all of us. Overnight, Zoom went from being a tool for the few to the lifeline that gave our schools, businesses, and relationships a way to keep going. Looking back over the year, here are the 10 pieces of content that I shared with you that are my favorites. In the text of the blog post that accompanies this, you're gonna find links to each one. First up, and now you have the time. When the virus took our country by surprise, many of us found ourselves at home with time on our hands. This content from March was designed to help us focus on those things over which we have control. How to create video with Zoom and edit with Shotcut. This video was my most viewed video ever. We were all trying to learn about this new thing called Zoom. This video from March gave you a simple way to make and edit video and do it for free. Time blocking made easy my own take. This video represents the most in-depth examples of how I plan my day. I talk often about using a digital task list. This one provides a behind the scenes look. How to solve your PDF headaches. PDF is a great format unless you need to make changes. Here, I share one free site that gives you unbelievable flexibility. Next, three great hidden features in Windows 10. Most people don't know the new Windows 10 features. This one shows you how to hide the desktop icons. It shows you quick assist and it shows you snip and sketch. Any of these three, if it's something that you need, often can be a game changer. Screen snips with one key, my new favorite shortcut. I never used the print screen key on my computer. Now it's something that I use multiple times every single day, and it's all because of one settings change that takes 30 seconds. If this, then that, my dozen most powerful applets. In September, when If This, Then That announced it was moving from a free to a paid model, I argued that it was still a bargain. In the video that went with this post, I demonstrated the power of If This, Then That. How to use Evernote to track your time. Also in September, Evernote users learned a way to keep a time log without ever having to write down a thing. Avoid the curse of the blank page. The worst part of the writing process is writer's block. The blank page is the enemy. What if we could grab those random thoughts as they come to us at the most unlikely moments and put them on that digital page? Continuing with that idea of Evernote, you learned how to get a head start on writing. How to promote gratitude and organization with our young. Is the handwritten thank you note a lost art? I hope this one will give you motivation to bring it back. Be sure to come over to the blog and listen to my interview with Jason Womack. We've made it to the end of 2020 and none of us had any idea of what we'd be in for. What will 2021 bring? Well, some of the things are going to be beyond your control, but the ones that are going to have the most impact on your day-to-day -day life are likely those things that you can control and it all happens through the dimension of time. As we travel through 2021 together, I hope you'll join me each week as you get organized and make it look easy.